This PC build was made possible by overclockers.co.uk. If you are looking for the latest and greatest of PC components, pre-built systems or even peripherals then definitely check them out, the link will be down below in the description. What's up guys and I hope everyone is doing okay. So today what we are going to do is take a look at the parts for this month's first PC build and I say first as we probably are going to have at least two or three PC builds this month including ones with the new KB Lake or Kaby Lake processors as well coming up nearer the end of the month as I have loads of motherboards here to review. So this PC build is costing around the thousand dollar, one thousand pound mark if you live here in the UK and I basically put this together for someone for their Christmas so I just wanted to let you guys see the PC build as I was pretty happy with how it turned out. So in part one of the video we are going to take a look at the parts and in part two I will put it all together and show you the benchmark results etc. Part two will also be up on the channel tomorrow as there is going to be loads of daily uploads so make sure you are subscribed to the channel and obviously check back for those latest uploads. So with that said let's jump in and take a look at the parts. So let's start with the case as it has to be one of my favourite cases to be released last year and that is of course the Corsair 460X. If you want to see a full review on this case then be sure to check out Dimitri's review over on Hardware Canucks as he covers every single aspect you will need to know. So briefly, this tempered glass beauty is a mid-tower ATX case with plenty of room for building inside and not only features a tempered glass side panel but also has the same glass on the front to complement the included RGB fans. The front panel IO is where you will find the controls for all those RGB fans along with the reset button, headphone, microphone jack, to USB 3.0 and of course your power button. Cable management will be no issue as there is plenty of room in the back and they have also included rubber grommets as usual for routing everything. Overall I absolutely love this case and if you are on the market for a tempered glass case then I would definitely check out Corsair's latest offerings. So for the motherboard I have chosen the Asus Z170A. There is a reason this is one of the best selling Z170 boards here in the UK and that is its value for money. For the price you get loads of features like 5 way optimization for easy overclocking and tuning, USB 3.1, M.2 support, USB-C, support for DDR4 RAM up to 3200 MHz and overall it is an absolutely stunning board and the reason that I went with it is it is going to complement the colour scheme that I am going for which in case you are wondering is of course black and white. So if you are on the market for a Z170 board I would definitely check this out as for the £130 mark you are getting a board that is packed with loads of the latest features. So the CPU that I will be using is the Intel i5-6600K which again is probably one of the most popular CPUs as it provides excellent performance out of the box. So as we are overclocking the CPU, I went for the Be Quiet Dark Rock Advance to make sure it stays cool at all times. The all black cooler not only looks great, it performs just as good and hardly makes a sound while doing it. As I was going for the black and white build, I opted to pick up the Asus Dual GTX 1060 OC Edition. With a base clock of 6 1607 MHz and a boost of 1835, we should be able to see good performance at 1080p without much trouble at all. The card itself is absolutely stunning and has all the latest features and it will pair excellently with the motherboard that I have chosen. Keeping with the white theme, I picked up 16GB of DDR4 RAM clocked at 2400MHz from Crucial. Their ballistics RAM with the digital camo design looks absolutely stunning so I definitely had to go ahead and pick these up. So for storage I went with 120GB SSD from Kingston for the OS and a 1TB Seagate mechanical drive. Preferably I would like to run an all SSD build but I had to cut down the price somewhere so it had to be on the SSD front which is not a huge problem as you can go ahead and add storage at a later date with absolutely no trouble at all. So last of all powering the system we have a 600W Be Quiet Pure Power 9. This will be ample power and it's pretty silent operator so again this is a huge bonus. Ok guys so that is all the parts and I'm pretty confident that this build will perform super well at 1080p with ease. Obviously I will be overclocking the 6600K and hope to hit around the 4.2 to 4.4 GHz mark so we'll see what happens as obviously I will have to try and keep temperatures down. 
So if you have any questions about the build, let me know down below. And as always, all the parts are listed down below if you want to go ahead and check it out. And remember that part two, where I will be putting it together and providing all the benchmarks will be up on the channel tomorrow. So make sure you hit that subscribe button or if you are subscribed, check back tomorrow. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe, be kind to each other and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Thanks for doing kindness. Thank you.